Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Brian. I'm the regional sales manager for Firestone Ag in the state of Minnesota here in Dakotas, Montana, and Idaho. Um, I work pretty closely with NTS. First things first, thank you NTS for hosting this show again, this in-house expo. Um, NTS would like me to talk about a specific product line and technology. It is called Destination Farm and Turf Radial Tires. And I'm gonna do some comparisons to some of our bias tires, the Highway Specials Farm Implements. Um, so what is a Destination Farm tire? I'm sure a lot of you may have it on some of your implements or wagons. It's our radial tire. We debuted it about five, six, seven years ago. Uh, we introduced a new size last year in the Destination Turf. We have 14 sizes in the Destination Farm, three in the Turf. So I'm gonna first start off with the Destination Farm here. So you're going to find a lot of these OE original equipment on your air seeders, planters, tillage equipment. It's just a couple images here of this product. Okay, so on the left here is the Destination Farm radial tire. Um, this depicts a 280-7015 and the other popular size is a 320-7015. And these are all IF VF technology. So you guys kind of heard the spiel with the NTS guys here on what IFVF technology is. Um, it is not necessarily relatively new, but the farming industry is starting to adopt to it and it needs it. All the farming equipment, the demands of farming um, needs heavier load carrying capacity tires. And this solves that issue. Uh, the right hand size is a standard implement tire. Uh, that's just one of many tread designs that we carry. So that is a bias tire. So the benefits of our radial implement tires, which is Destination Farm and Torque Turf. So with the IFVF technology, you get reduced soil compaction, increased productivity, and lower fuel costs. Why and how? So IF means 20% more load carrying capacity compared to your standard radial. VF means 40% uh, more load carrying capacity. And there's two sides of the coin here. So you can either have more load carrying capacity, 20 or 40% compared to your standard radial, or you can have the same load carrying capacity at 20% less air pressure or 40% less air pressure, which is going to give you a bigger footprint. So your pressure and the weight is more evenly spread out, more distributed across the soil. Less soil compaction, better yields. So right here is tech scan footprints. Uh, we do all of our engineering and designs in Akron, Ohio. And we do all of our rigorous testings in Columbia, Ohio, which is where Henry Harvey Firestone's um, farming property was back in the 1900s, 20s, and 30s. So that property is still being well utilized for all our rigorous testing. Uh, you've got on the left-hand side here an IF-280-7015, an 11L-15 bias highway special tire. Both of these tires are rated for just shy of 4,000 pounds for load carrying capacity. But if you can see here on the bottom, 52 PSI is all it takes for that destination farm to carry near 4,000 pounds. The bias tire on the right, 90 PSI. So if you can imagine, you can see these footprints here, that the weight here is more evenly distributed through the footprint of the tire, more contact pressure in a smaller footprint tire. So you got more of a wider, flatter footprint. It's deflecting longer with the destination radial tire. So here's kind of a little bit of a broad overview for the data breakdown of these two comparisons. The highway special again, almost 4,000 pounds at 90 PSI, almost 4,000 pounds at 52 for the farm. So what's the contact area? You got 45 square inches on the highway special, the bias, compared to 63 square inches, almost a 40% increase on the destination farm. And this goes with almost every comparison we can throw at you with the destination farm and turf compared to any of our bias tires. All right, this is just kind of a outline, dimensional outline of the two tires. So you've got the highway special 
in the yellow orange, which is more of a curved crown, uh, which is putting more pressure in a smaller area compared to the destination farm. It's just another way, a visual depiction of what that tire looks like and how it evenly distributes the weight. All right, so with the destination farm, which you can see back here on this JD implement, and also back on the far uh, booth down there, I have these on display. They have deeper tread. Every single one of these have steel tread belts. So the durability, um, this really helps against stubble resistance. They just wear a lot longer with these steel belt tread designs. 10 to 15% harder radial compounds are found in our destination farm and turf tires. And every single one of these is D speed rating. That's up to 40 miles per hour. Let's talk about the turf. Quite a bit different tread pattern. Again, I have this on display back there as well, which is a 445 50 22 5. These are coming, they're starting to come stock on a lot of JD DB planters. Uh, that's our biggest size we manufacture in the turf, but they are starting to become stock on those. I have that one on display back there. So this tire is more of a mud design, tread block style tire. They're all VF rated, 40% more load carrying capacity. This is an actual visual description of one. You can see there the highlighted tread bar or the tread blocks. All right, so the features, obviously you can see biting edges. It's got a channel tread design, diagonal channel tread design for better clean out for mud and wetter soil conditions. Uh, the benefits, you get more grip, of course, and more enhanced cleaning. Again, steel belt construction on both of these tires, and this tire really features the best double resistance. Uh, specific bar angles, like I said before, larger lugs, better stubble resistance, and you also get increased service life. More footprint comparisons. I threw this one on because this is our second most popular tire size in these radial implements. The IF320-7015. So the first one is the 280, this one's the 320. Both almost equally as popular. Uh, you can see here the Highway Special, the 125L, 15FI, 71 square inches on that footprint. A little bit more green, you can tell, in that footprint. This one's a little bit more evenly distributed, larger footprint at almost 100 square inches. So that's a 38% increase. On the right-hand side is the turf in field, which is our bias tire, compared to the destination turf. So again, 63 square inches with that footprint on the bias turf and field compared to 110 square inches on the destination turf. That's almost the biggest jump out of any example I can give you. That's a 75% increase. All right, so with all that being said, I just wanna finish up with both of these tires in all those sizes. We still back our tires with a nine year limited warranty, just like the rest of our radial tires, three year stubble damage, and a two year field hazard warranty as well. That's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know now. Otherwise, I'll be back in my booth and um, you can actually see these tires firsthand. Thank you.